This year saw the 50th anniversary for Forest Academy. And over the last 50 years, my predecessors have stood on the stage delivering to a packed hall. And indeed, last year I stood here and I delivered my first prize giving speech as head teacher of Forest Academy. I'd had a wonderful time chatting to the parents and to the pupils and invited guests. And we'd been treated to some absolutely wonderful food that had been prepared by our pupil catering team. But today instead, I'm stood here and I'm talking to an empty hall, whilst you're all at home watching this. It's a very different situation. So why did we bother? Well, the reason for this is that this event is the chance for us to proudly celebrate the wonderful achievements of our school this last year. This situation was not going to put stop to that. So welcome everybody to the 2020 Forest Academy Prize Giving. Despite the fact that we've not operated as a normal school since the 20th of March this year, the time leading up to this was amazing for our school community. Looking back to the August SQA results, I want to extend my congratulations to all pupils from last year on the results that they've received. Overall, our examination results were as expected with some excellent individual and departmental results. I would like to extend my congratulations to the 11 S4 students who gained A passes in all six of their National 5 exams. And also congratulations go to our two S5 pupils who gained five A passes at higher level. As with most of our students, their results were testament to their hard work and the quality of support that had been provided both by both the staff here at the school and by their parents. Whilst as a school we were delighted with these successes, you might have seen the campaign of No Wrong Pathway. And here at Forest Academy, we are very committed to supporting our students in whatever their pathway and their qualifications might look like. It certainly has been more than just straight A passes that are important to us. August also saw some exciting developments. We continue to strengthen our communication with families with the launch of our new parent app to huge success. We started the year with our three core expectations of being ready, respectful and safe. In August, we also saw the year starting with some newly appointed pupil leadership positions of the house captains, sorry, school captains, should I say. I set them and indeed the entire S6 a challenge in June of 2019 and wow, did they smash my expectations. The impact that the S6 year group has had on the school this year has been immense. And I want to thank you all for your hard work in making this school a much better place. The school captain team within the S6 was initially to promote strong leadership of whole school and house events, alongside giving direction to the pupil population in Forest Academy. The group have undertaken this with great dedication and enthusiasm. The team have conducted many different roles and activities in the school. They coordinated our senior prefect team. They gave support to the senior management team in parents' evenings and different open events. They assisted in the appointment of new staff by touring the candidates, promoting the good things about the school and answering any questions they might have. They've organised various activities in school for younger pupils to participate in, including giving support to small groups and individuals. They showed their commitment to the wider community by organising various collections, both for Murray School Bank and Murray Food Plus. The group's promotion of these collections culminated in hugely successful collections for these important local charities and provided support for numerous pupils in our school and wider community. The appointment of these pupils to the new positions of school captain has been an excellent move for the school in terms of promoting pupil leadership and instilling a real sense of belonging, community and pride amongst our pupil body. And without a doubt, the individuals who have made up this first team of captains brought their individual talents and collective strength to these new roles and made them what they've become. I've got a huge amount of pride and respect for the group in being the trailblazers for this new positions 
and the excellent role models that they became. I was delighted then when their hard work and commitment was recognised when they were awarded the Secondary School Award for being commended at the Murray Young Citizens Awards back in March. Well done to you all and thank you once again for everything that you've done for the school. We'll miss you greatly and we wish you every success in your exciting journey ahead. The school captain group were not the only success at the Murray Young Citizens Awards. Our higher leadership class smashed the bar and became the overall winning group in the secondary school category. This came as no surprise to us. Throughout the year, they've organised and coordinated a huge number of different events, from the S1 Languages Day in October to the Christmas dances, the Christmas cracker event, and a fantastic Christmas video for the school. They've helped out in numerous community events and in the local primary schools, and their overall winner's award was thoroughly deserved. So thank you to everybody involved in this, both the pupils and indeed Mr Fraser. You really have done so much for the school over the year. Our S2 year group in October also saw huge success, huge success with their youth philanthropy initiative. The winning group being awarded £3,000 for their chosen charity of Quarriers. Well done to you all. We've had various sporting successes despite the year being cut short. A huge array of a extracurricular clubs and activities have been coordinated by our young sports ambassadors Ashley and Max. Opportunities have been given to the students to compete at various levels from inter-house school events to Murray school events, reg regional, national, Scottish schools and British school events. In the Murray inter-schools events for this year we've competed in girls football, netball, badminton and cross country. It's been a great experience and opportunity to all the competitors. The junior netball team won the league and the seniors came uh, runners up for their age group. In junior badminton, the players were running up, runners up in the team competition. And in cross country, there were five individual medalists and the boys got the S12 shield. The girls football team came sixth and the Forest Academy orienteering team retained the league shield. Our cricket team competed at the Big Bash Festival in Perth and they came fifth in Scotland. We've also seen students compete at Scottish school level for biathlon championships, indoor track and field championships, cross country, we've had individual swimming championships and in badminton we've had medalists and semi-finalists. Pistol shooting, where we've seen individual gold medals and team gold positions. Every student gaining excellent experience and confidence competing at this high level. Recognition for sporting achievements for a number of our students was evidence at the annual sports awards for Murray, where Isla Pritchard won the Special Achievement Award and Lucy Evans the Intermediate Sportswoman Award. Well done, girls. We've had many students competing at high level within the community, being in squads for Murray, for Highland, for Grampian, for Scotland and indeed Britain. And I congratulate every single one of you who are competing in all these various events. Also in our first term, we saw the launch of our school pipe band initiative. We've now got a group of pupils working alongside the tutors and next year I would hope to have a fantastic performance by these musicians. So I would like to extend my thanks to the Forest Pipe Band for their support in getting this set up. In January we had a fantastic afternoon event where we got a visit from the RAF Brass Band. This hall was a buzz, it was such an excellent event. We also saw back in January Callum Robertson win the Image of the Month with the photo that he submitted to the National Schools Observatory. At the start of this year in January, we also launched our parent support group to great success. This is the opportunity for parents to get together in an informal way, get support that they need from each other, but also from our hub staff. It really has been fantastic. In February, we had a wonderful after-school event where we welcomed in all our P7s 
at the start of their transition program and in hindsight we are so pleased we got the opportunity to do that and one of our last big events in the school was that of world book day at the start of march a wonderful array of famous literary characters descended on our school that day with pupils and staff enjoying the opportunity to dress up and have some fun and then things started to change and please bear with me in this section uh, i'll give you a warning uh, it is a bit emotional by march as a nation and as a school we began to feel the impact of the coronavirus we saw our absence rates and pupils and staff start to creep up we had to begin to display signs around the school encouraging high standards of hand hygiene we had to begin to sing happy birthday in our heads as we washed our hands twice and we all kept our ears open to what shop maybe had toilet roll in stock but we did start to get the feeling that things were shaping up into something big i'm not sure we even really truly appreciated what this was going to look like on the 18th of march we said that we couldn't remain open to our s123 pupils we had too many staff absent to be able to do that that day we also heard that across this country that all schools in scotland were to close to pupils from the 20th of march but still did we really appreciate what this was going to mean we were being told that schools would possibly be closed until after the summer really we thought the 19th of march saw the national announcement that sqa exams were cancelled for 2020 our seniors and ourselves left in shock of what this was going to mean for them we planned to get some of the seniors in the following week to finish off some coursework but then that weekend that was taken away from us as well and we were told strictly no pupils to be in school well we could get our staff in we can begin to plan and pull some of this work together that we're going to need for our senior pupils estimates but then on monday the 23rd of march the news that we'd now been expecting was announced and as a country we went into lockdown so what did we do as a school yes panic slightly i will admit to that i will admit to that few weeks leading up to that announcement of being the one of one of the most intense times and at that point probably the most intense time in terms of school planning but we swung into action to see what we could do to support our school community we made up sanitary packs stationary packs and packed lunch free school meals and these were all distributed to the pupils who were in need of them around our school community we issued glow logins we sorted out it access and we put supports in place for that last week of the term our teaching staff began to gather all the evidence that they might need to base the estimated grades on for the senior pupils and we tried to give the highest level of reassurance that we could to the school community that we would get through this and are we yes without a doubt as a school we've issued over 60 laptops and ipads to support our families who had no it devices at the start of this term after easter our virtual school was opened pupils are being taught and teachers are teaching and we're all interacting together in a very different way that we never expected we might have to do jackie davidson from our english department thought that she might sell some home bakes from an honesty collection at the end of our road maybe earning a little bit of money that we could donate to the charity the murray food plus a little bit of money try 1700 pounds later absolutely amazing as a staff we tried to give covid the boot okay we didn't but we hope you had some joy watching this video and not to be outdone by us why were we not left absolutely emotional and absolutely awestruck when the s6 sent us in their goodbye film we've continued to celebrate success and achievements of our pupils lucy evans has been competing in international online laser shooting competitions our senior young enterprise team paw press 
were awarded the North of Scotland Achievement Through Adversity Award. Tegan Miller in S3 is dressed up as various children's characters to go on her daily walks around Kinloss and has brought joy to some of the youngsters in the village. Our staff and pupils took part in our Over the Rainbow tribute with this music video, hoping to thank them in the local community, all the local healthcare workers, the amazing work that they have done. We've had two highly successful virtual primary transition days, and Mrs Munn has launched our virtual library. And we've done all that we can to keep our school community connected throughout this challenging time. We've celebrated the fantastic work that's been done by our pupils in our virtual school. We've reached out and we've kept the school community updated as things have developed at such a fast pace over this last little while. I honestly couldn't be prouder. And I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every individual of our school. The pupils, the parents and all the staff. How you've coped throughout this has been amazing. The creative ways that have been developed to ensure that as a school we can continue to thrive in these unprecedented times has been immense. But our thoughts are turning to what next? Well, we've measured the school. We've measured it for two metre distancing and we've measured it for one metre distancing. We've figured out our entry points, our exit points, our one-way systems. We've made plan A, plan B, plan C. Maybe now going on to plan D, because we're still not utterly sure what August and beyond is going to look like. What is certain, though, is that we won't be operating straight away in what we class as being normal. Schooling will be blended with some time being here in the school, plus other time continuing at home and online. We will have plans in place and we do have plans in place, but these plans need to be adaptable. We need to continue to be able to change quickly as the country continues to change. We will continue to keep our communication open and we will continue to be connected with our school community. Yes, we don't have all the answers yet and it is unsettling. We do fear for the long-term impact that this is going to have on our community, but we will get through it. Being two years now in the position of head teacher of Forest Academy, I'm aware of the strengths of, that our school community has, and it's this underlying strength and our genuine commitment to do the best for each other that's going to take us through this. I never appreciated just how much I would miss normal school. I miss the face-to-face -face interactions with all the young people and all the staff. But I've got no doubt that this time next year, I'll be stood in this hall again, which will be packed with pupils and parents and guests with a wonderful buzz as we proudly celebrate another year of success for the Forest Academy community. A phrase I heard the other week is that Throughout all of this, it's important that we reflect and, and make any changes and that we need to build back better. And that's exactly what we plan to do. So let me end by extending my congratulations to all the prize winners this year. You deserve to have your success celebrated. Well done. But also to the entire school community. A sincere well done to how this last few months have gone and a thank you from me. It is a complete privilege to be the head teacher of Forest Academy. I miss you all and I can't wait to see you. Enjoy the rest of this event. What I want you've got, it might be hard to handle. Like the flame burns a candle The candle feeds the flame What I got a full stock of thoughts and dreams that scatter And you pull them all together And I how I can explain Well, well, you Because 
become a screamer When I'm messing with a dreamer I can laugh it in the face Twist and shout my way out and wrap yourself around me Cause I ain't the way you found me And I'll never be the same Well, well, you Academy is in US 1. Daunted by the prospect of entering a big school with older students, I never imagined my time here coming to an end in the current situation. However, that doesn't take away from my fantastic and rewarding experience at this school, which I am now leaving behind. Over the past six years, I have been able to grow as a person, both academically through the support of all the staff at Forest Academy, and also whilst balancing the other opportunities which your time at school will offer you. I feel privileged to be leaving, having contributed to a number of leadership roles and also to have used my own passion for sport to encourage and inspire others to participate. The biggest thing I've learned from my time at school, obviously not forgetting the endless English essays, maths, problems and science experiments, and my biggest piece of advice for you all is to seize every opportunity you are given. As Richard Branson once said, if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity but you're not sure you can do it, Say yes, then learn how to do it later. I could not agree more. We live in a world where it is easy for us to get caught up in worrying about what other people think and many times this can get in the way of our ability to say yes, to grasp every opportunity with two hands and make the most of it. As important as exam results are, it is just as essential to use the opportunities you are given to help shape yourself as a well-rounded individual with a skill set which will allow you to thrive in any situation. To all this year's prize winners, I would like to say a huge congratulations as we celebrate your effort and commitment over the past school year and I wish you good luck in the future. We may be living in uncertain times, but with your own hard work and determination, you can be sure that you will leave yourself with the best chance of success. All that leaves me to say is a big thank you to everyone that has been involved in putting together this different yet special awards celebration this year. The effort that has been put in during this difficult time to ensure a sense of community still surrounds this school as we find ourselves physically distanced is truly amazing. What I want you've got it might be hard to handle But like the flame burns a candle The candle feeds the flame What I got full stock of thoughts and dreams that scatter And you pull them all together And I how I can't explain Well, well, you screamer when I'm messing with a dreamer I can laugh it in the face twist and shout my way out and wrap yourself around me cause I ain't the way you found me and I'll never be the same 
Well, well, you You make my dreams come true Come. 